Welcome to the pre-show. We're about to go live with Stephen Courtley. We're gonna try something new. We got our little countdown meter. And uh, you guys, can we start the counter? Here she goes. We're about to turn it on. This is something new. Boom. This is our pre-show prep before the actual show. Uh, just letting people tune in and be part of the show. So you guys are getting to see a little behind the scenes. Still, right in. We'll, uh, Roman's already on the mic. Yeah. We'll read your comments. And we're going to call Stephen Courtley right now. Get him set up. And uh, we'll officially go live in nine minutes and 34 seconds. This is cool. We never did this before. Oh, I think they picked up. <laughs> oh. That's not Steven. Natalie, how are you? I don't know if we have audio. Do we have audio from those guys? Uh, have you, did you guys accidentally mute your mic on your screen? There should be a little microphone icon. This is a rare treat. We are getting the better half of the Courtly family over here. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing. Wait, is someone hooked up to headphones right now? Are you guys using headphones? Yes. Oh, yeah. there we go. That, that was the test that we did not run. OK, so anyway, Max and I are hijacking the studio because we always think it's fun to show people like our perspective of the studio. The real tour of the studio. Yes. I like yes. it. And so I think it's a great way to get to know the artist a little bit. So. Um, I'm going to show you. Okay, so, so here's a cute little door, and it, we enter this way. And it just, he likes to collect, this is Dave White's art sculpture. He's got a big wave Dave. A big wave Dave. Oh, don't mind that there's a golf ball and whatever sitting in there, <laughs> a little opener. And then we have a big array of surfboards, because you can tell that he likes to surf. This is the workstation that never is beautiful but this mirror is a huge asset i have a similar workstation and i'm glad you're sharing this because i will share this with my wife so she knows it's not just me it's not just you yeah. and there's some work that needs to be going somewhere and then steve has two different workstations which i always find interesting depending on attitude and you know sometimes you get tired i think as an artist which voice you're listening to that day out of the yeah. many voices in the head, I get it, yeah. Yes, so here's his sitting um, space, workspace, and there's his big easel he'll show you, but I love to like show people the real stuff. So those are real sunflowers. He's actually uh, painting okay. from life? Yeah, real sunflowers, although That's I did awesome. tell him I'd like to arrange them differently because I don't like the arrangement, but. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, what's all this stuff, you guys? Like. What? These brushes are sitting in things. Look at, like, dripping, and he uses lots of towels. And I hope I'm not making you totally motion sick here. No, I'm just going to say I understand the brush thing. I He's know. Not, I know. And so when I, when I was a teacher I'm in the classroom, I'd tell the kids to be nice to hairs on your brush. And Steve said he disagreed. And then... I'm an abuser, too. All, yeah. <laughs> Lisa's just brushes. Um, and then here's all his paints. And then this is, I'm a, I'm, Steve actually has learned how to mix color from me. So I just wanted to, I'm going for a, a magenta color right now. And, <laughs> you know, it's Here, really, can you tell? Can what, you tell that he's learned from me? What kind of music do you hear coming from this <laughs> studio? That's what I'm curious about. Oh, there's no music right now. And it, I'm just kidding, by the way. This is not, I'm not a color artist at all. Is he usually jamming out, or do oh. you hear, like, some Sarah McLaughlin oh. in the background? Like, Yeah, what? when he's painting? Yeah. Oh, and by, sorry. Oh, look at that. That's just <laughs> on the floor. That's okay. Yeah, no, I don't, don't go that part. Your, yeah, well, I don't clean up after him, Philip, so. What? Oh, see you back. Whoa. <laughs> hey! We just got the just private tour. That, yeah, and I was showing them that I make magenta. That is awesome. <laughs> she, she's helping me because I'm, I'm new to working in color, and I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that a little more tonight. So I can hear you. There you go. 
Hey, are you there? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Uh-oh. How goes it? Hey, how are you? Good, man. So we got about four Good. minutes. What's my wife doing in here? That was amazing. I, you've never shared your studio like that with me, so <laughs> that, that was awesome. Oh, Roman. <laughs> we got Roman and Mike here uh, about four minutes till we really launch the show. So we're just doing a little pre-show show. OK, good. Yeah. Good deal. So what are you working on? Um, right now, I got some of your work hiding back here. Uh, I just saw that you worked from life with your sunflowers. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Yeah, I like to, um, I like to get uh, fresh flowers, and then I'll shoot it and uh, light it and you know, change it up, and then, and then I'll take it digitally and, and make it black and white so I can study the values. Very cool. We, yeah, we nerded out on that, I think, a little while back when I was sharing the animal series. And I was like, dude, the light bulb went off. And you're like, exactly. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, That's cool. for sure. For sure. So yeah, today so, I, I had like a turtle surgery. I had painted a turtle in a commission. And I, I, it was the wrong pose. So we repainted him going out to the ocean instead of across the painting. And that was my big fun painting of entry today. Did it work out? I think they're happy. So oh, that's good. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah. So I am going to uh, do a little painting. <clears throat> Prep you away. Mind. Yeah, no, we're, I think we're going to um, take you off camera in like two minutes, and we'll do our normal intro. This is just a, a quick little treat for people who are tuning in right now to kind of see behind the scenes. And then Dude. when we rebroadcast, like for our email blast, yeah. uh, they won't get this. So I mean, do whatever you want right now. All right. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't already, Steve, you can share it to your page. Oh, Alive. yeah. Oh, great. Again, guys, this is all the stuff we do before we go. Like, this is the behind the scenes of what we do. Roman, we got any comments or anything coming in? Actually, we do. Sweet. What we got? Yeah, we got uh, Tracy Dennis. And he says, yes, that looks normal. He's talking about the, <laughs> the studio. <laughs> the mess. And, yeah, he's been over to mine. Yeah, and then Charlie Lorenz said he loves the flowers, the sunflowers. Oh, yes. Awesome. What's up, Charlie? Hey, we need to wish them a happy anniversary. Uh, they actually, gosh, I don't want to say which one it was, but it was a big one. So happy anniversary, you guys. Happy anniversary. Check out their Facebook. There's a picture of when those kids got married, and I was like, who are these good-looking guys? I, <laughs> I mean, you're still dashing. Don't get me wrong, but I, I was, I was impressed. I was amazed. That was a cute little couple back then. All right, man. Um, How time flies. We got 50 seconds, so I think what we're gonna do is we're going to cut your feed. You're still live, and um, we're gonna do our normal intro, and then we'll bring you back in. Sounds good. Hi, right, brother. See you in one second. See ya. Guys, again, this is the behind the scenes. And then we're going to uh, start with our normal intro for our email blast that goes out to all our collectors. If you don't get that email blast, uh, reach out to us. Um, what's the best email for them to reach out to? Is it? Philip Anthony Marketing. Philip Anthony Marketing at gmail.com. If you're not getting our collector email blast, go ahead and, and Email us there, and we'll be sure that you get on to the email blast. That gives you all the behind the scenes of the shows. And in addition to that, it's also, <laughs> it's, it's, also uh, it's your first invite to that and a lot of the new works in progress. So if you haven't get that, you definitely want to check that out. Um, I'm going to get ready real quick, and then we're going to go live.
Oh, he's getting the jacket on. <laughs> Better not get any paint on that. Just wanted to dress to impress for the show, so. Thought Dude, we'd... what are you trying to one-up me? What, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, that's the problem with artists. They don't share any of their secrets, and then they try to one-up each other. Oh, I would never try. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Now we have an audio issue. Here we go. It's your jacket. The mic fell down into your jacket. <laughs> it did. <laughs> All right. We still sounding good on the audio? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. All right. Let's do a paint night tonight. Welcome to Paint Night tonight, everybody. We got a really special episode. I'm so excited. Uh, that's not a Philip Anthony back here. Stephen Courtley is going to be on the show tonight. Yeah. All the way from California. He's live. We're going to bring him out in a second. I think Stephen is hitting a new record with Paint Night tonight. Uh, third or fourth appearance it's on. Number four. This is number four. He's like the Alec Baldwin of Saturday Night Live for Paint Night tonight. <laughs> like most appearances of an artist, and we're just warming up. So let's bring him in. Let's bring, there he is. Mr. Stephen Courtley. Great to be here, and I'm very honored. It's not your first rodeo, and I'm not referring to that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, buddy. What are you doing? What are you working on? Oh, thanks, man. I am putting together a new sunflower piece. And uh, I like to get the fresh flowers, and then I photograph them and start right in. That is one of the most beautiful things, and yet it hits a sensitive place for me. And I think you know what I'm talking about. One of my favorite things that Steve does is his sunflowers. And one thing I've always wanted to do with my favorite artists is trade artwork. And there's always been this thing that we made this deal. He'd paint an amazing sunflower piece, and uh, if it didn't sell at the show, then we'd do the art trade. And every time, almost on the last day of every show, he sold every sunflower piece. So I love it. It might go missing at the show. I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I could hide your name under this thing, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Well, thanks. So that's uh, one piece that's coming. It, what else do you, do you have for us? I think we might have some images of some work that's coming. Yeah, there's a new piece here uh, called, um, it is called, oh my gosh, it is my Unending Breath and Light. It's a brand new piece, and, um, and Philip Anthony's Signature Gallery will be the first to show it. So uh, APs will be available, and, um, and I'm real excited about it. Um, it's, uh, it's an emotional piece. It's a very strong, uh, very strong piece, and... Um, and we, we literally just sold the original, and then the limiteds are, are, are available now. What size is that? Uh -oh. Just lost you. It's uh, 30 by 60. 30 by 60. That's awesome. That's a big piece. So It's, it's, a, it's a great, uh, great size piece, yes. And guys, just so you know, the show is coming up Memorial Day weekend. Uh, the fun thing that we have planned is the first night, we're actually going to have our private VIP party uh, here at the mall location. Call to RSVP for that. We were trying to think of something fun to do. We've had some really cool events with Steve. Um, this year, we're, or this time, we're going to do the dueling pianos. So the idea is... Pianos? Pianos. Pianos. Pianos, yes. 
I haven't even started well, drinking. I know it's seven o'clock over here, but so the so the golf tournament's not happening. John Goh's going to be very sad about that. The golf tournament is happening in November. Yes. Annual tournament. So uh, when Night to Lights comes around, the Courtly Cup Two will officially be here. If you didn't attend that, that was amazing. We'll, we'll definitely be showing some footage of that uh, in some of our next upcoming uh, events and all that. But yes, Sounds so great. the VIP event is gonna be dueling pianos. The untold story is that Steven is multi-talented and an amazing uh, at musician, gifted in singing and all that. So my, the game plan is to get the piano going get some tasty beverages going, and we, we see if we can get him to actually sing at the event here. Oh, jeez. Not open mic, I'm just saying. Well, all right. Yeah. Sing it along. I don't, I don't do karaoke, I just want to let you that, know that right now. That was stated here and challenge <laughs> accepted, so we will see <laughs> what happens. <laughs> oh, with right, the creative juice. That and I'll, I might sing something. Okay, all right, fair game. Uh, so the first event will be here at the gallery and then, I'm sorry, at the mall. And then the next three nights will be at the uh, gallery downtown. And the thing I'm trying to figure out is on, so I think it's a Friday night is the pianos. Saturday, I want to do something special. And that's where I thought with the whole dueling theme, maybe there's a paint off. I don't know how you feel about Ooh. that. Well, I, I already got, I already got something started. Oh shoot. I saw that and that's freaking amazing. Can we, I think we have a picture of so that's... Well, that, yeah, that was the very beginning. So now we're, let's see, so now we're about right there. Do you have a current picture? Oh yeah, wow. All right, wait, how are we painting off when you're already done with the painting? How, how does that work? Well, <clears throat> you better get busy. <laughs> 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 Actually, that, that's a good point to some of the artwork I might um, showcase when, when you're here. Uh, so I, I do have some pieces that I've been working on. Okay. Do you we'll guys? So I, I started this, you might remember this one. Oh, I love that. Yep, I love that one. We actually painted the same scene, and that was not the last show, but I think the show prior to that, back in November, and I'm, I'm still kind of working on that one. I love it. Now, you actually finished yours. Ooh, it's not our best photo of that. But you finished and sold your piece. And then I got... Another one, which was started back in that November show oh, that I... That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I still haven't finished that one either. But that should be finished by then. Okay, good. And that McCallum one, yeah. That's still not done either. Right. Those were all the ones that we were doing together at the last show. Yep. And uh, you paint a lot faster than me. So maybe we get, maybe we put it out there. Who wants us to paint uh, something special? Maybe there's, uh, maybe we have room for two or three commissions we do at the show, smaller pieces. Um, say someone wants a cigar or, I don't know. Something. Actually, you I'm had a like really good idea. So I, I know what you're referring to. The idea before was, um, maybe kind of a call your shots or bring like your favorite drink wasn't that yeah and so we can do a few at that time but um it's going to be very limited to how many we can actually do but guys that was an idea that um steven and my wife faith had was uh you bring your favorite drink and then that could be 
something that he actually paints live for you at the show. And at least start it. At least start it at the show. Right. At least start at the show, right. And if it's me, then that would just, that'll be like a year later. So that's, I would probably have Steve do that if that's the idea that you'd like to do. <laughs> Oh, we have a Pat Moffat that just snuck in. Oh, Pat Moffat. I didn't even know she was coming here. She just came to paint night tonight. Just off the golf course. No, actually from an Italian restaurant and had a nice margarita. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, my good Welcome friend. in, Pat. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you very much. You staying busy or out of trouble? Both. Good. Paint nights evolving to what I wanted to be. We've got a live studio audience. It's amazing. <laughs> well, it looks wonderful. Thank you. You're My hat or? Huh? His hat, hat or the painting? You're going to be here and we're not going to be here, so we'll miss you. Oh, man. We're going to be in Louisiana. Oh, well. Next time. Next time, in the fall. Pat, where's Bill? He's home. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm glad you snuck in. Well, I know. So, right. it, it is going to be a great show, and we'll miss Pat, but we will see everyone else there, and um, what else are we doing? What, um, what's the biggest painting you've painted? That actually, I want to work on some new masterworks. Uh, so I'm going to take one of my moon pieces with all the texture. And I think I'm about to do a uh, 54 by 48. 54 by 48. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll have that done by the show. Uh, we saw some of the other works in progress from November, but uh, I'm about to work on that. Bye, Pat. Bye, Stephen. See you, Pat. <laughs> so, um, okay, I think I did, I think we have an image there of a piece I just did um, from Prague before the whole shutdown thing. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's 60 by 60, I believe. 58 by 58. 60 by 60? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. Uh, so the moon piece I'm going to do is 54 by 48, but I'm also going to do a lightning piece at like 72 by 36. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like uh, striking here, but I'll do the texture in the water. I've never done a piece that big. It's going to be probably the largest piece to date. That's yeah. pretty big. Yeah, thank you. All right. And so you're going to hang it right in your gallery there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is killer. What's the, okay. what's the well, biggest piece you've done? So, um, actually, so nine feet by, uh, so nine feet by 18 feet. That's, 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 that's it right there. Yep. So it was three trip panels as a triptych, and it's um, oh there I signed at the wall. Um, wow, that that's is hanging big. in some very special collectors of mine, um, and uh, it was it was a year and a half project. Man, that's like three fill paintings right there. <laughs> that's yeah, that's pretty much three of the big one. So. So good luck with your little baby thing. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll get there. Just kidding. Actually, one day I will get there. Now, now that I recall, I think something special's happening close to the time that you're going to be here. Really? Yeah, I mean, if I had the same time and wisdom and experience, <laughs> because 
if I recall, <laughs> what's happening right after you're here? I think you're celebrating something. Oh, I'm not celebrating 50. You're not celebrating 50. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody, there may or may not be uh, a very special birthday coming up just right after the, uh, the event. So if you want to celebrate Steve's birthday over the weekend, I think that's appropriate. So That would be awesome. We'll that would be great. We'll, we'll make it a big party. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Um, you had. I, I feel 30. You, feel, you look 30, man. I, I tell myself the same thing. So we had some pictures of your sunflowers that you were doing? Yeah. Did, was that a question? Oh, there we go. No, yeah. you actually sent some over. That's pretty cool. Yeah, see, I switched it to black and white because uh, and then I'll paint the entire piece monochromatic with just orange or red. And what I'm trying to do is study the values and the tones uh, from the ground up. Color, color, you know, all my work is very bright, but the color doesn't come in until about the last 10% of the painting. So, um, so and that's just one of those, yeah, art geeky things that I like to... Um, to, to think about and practice. No, we were nerding out about that. I love that. Um, I think the light bulb went off for me when I started doing the animal series, and it was the opposite of what I normally do. Like, I'm normally uh, retranslating values into color, and you are using color as your value. Yes. Like random different colors, or talk about that, man. Like, what's your approach with that? Right. Well, I think you could base in a painting with with tan or grays, gray values. But for me, the bright oranges and the bright crimson reds um, is is a win-win because I get to establish the values, but at the same time, I'm creating a warmth in the piece. And um, and for some reason, for my brain, once I start adding the cools in, um, they go over the top of the of the warm tones, and, um, and it just makes sense. Guys, I still can't wrap my head around that, and I love it, and it's fascinating to me. Like, I saw the beginning start of your piano piece, all reds, and all blocked out. I think we have a picture of that. Yep. Yeah. And, and that is such a unique approach. That is so cool. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, man. Any other advice or technique that you like to share? Like, what's something unique about your process that you could share with our, our artists that are are going, man, what, how's he do that? Um, <clears throat> I, like to, I like to work a little bit, and then I take a break, and I flip, um, I flip the image. Um, but I, I think the best tool in the studio here is, the, is my mirror. So let me grab this, and I'll take you over. So see, I walk over here and I look through the mirror and I can see the image flipped. And by, by seeing that reverse image, I'm noticing what is off um, as far as composition and uh, also um, color and what, what might be off or, or what might be great. You know, and whatever's great, of course, I leave. <clears throat> I leave that be. So it stops becoming what you think a flower should be, because sometimes we do that, right? 
Yes. And, and now you're looking at just pure shapes in a, in a sense. You, you're flipping it. Yeah. It's, it's lost what was kind of in your mind. And now it's just these shapes, forms, angles. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, thank you. Well, old master technique in a way, right? Like, didn't they used to look through, um, I want to say, like, little uh, pieces of glass that would flip the image or shrink it? I'm trying to think. Am I off, or does that sound right? No, you're right. And I think, um, and, and artists today, they still use different tools, mm -hmm. um, really simple tools. Um, and, you know, because because the whole the whole thing is to see or to be able to paint um, what we see, right. and it's it's almost impossible. I mean, to to reenact what God's created on this earth is very very difficult. I think that's the joy and the beauty and inspiration at the same time, right? Yeah. Yes. Like slowing down for that and. Um... Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's exhausting. I mean, I'm, I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I don't know about you, but, but when you're working on a painting, it's like, um, it's hard work. Your yeah. brain is just going nuts. Yeah, there's a lot of coffee to, to go late into the night, and then there's a lot of, how do I go to sleep now? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, right. You're all amped. <laughs> You've got, what's your normal routine though? Are you usually working in the morning or do you work nights? Yeah, I, a uh, couple, couple nights a week, I will, um, I'll paint from, you know, 10 p.m. to midnight, 1, 1, 1 a.m. And then the rest of the days are a very normal schedule. I'm up at six and I'm in the studio by 7.38 and, uh, and then painting through the day. Um, and, and then every once in a while, I'll wake up at, um, you know, four or five and try to get in some extra hours. I, I am some, I just got a wild hair with actually those big paintings and I'm actually excited about it. And I, I've been not painting because of all the crazy growth and things that we've been fortunate to, to get. So I'm excited to really dive back into the studio uh, just finished two commissions, and I don't know. It, it's you get that way. I I almost did a paint night where I was like, artist block is real, people. <laughs> and oh yeah, totally. <laughs> people don't believe that, but I mean, be happy, go, right? Be creative, go. Yeah. You know, yeah. you you could go play some music, but then there's that moment where you're jamming out and coming to life and creating something new. And you yeah. want to bring that to your work all the time. Yeah. Like, is there anything you do to help get yourself in that mindset when you're in that funk? I think, I think getting up a little early before the craziness of the day starts, that's, um, you know, a buddy of mine, Noah Elias, real well-known painter and artist. He, uh, I, he gets up at four in the morning. I can't do that. Oh, but wow. He, um, he calls it his download time, and so he gets up, and you know, I'll, and I'll be up at, at five, and and I, I have that download time where where I do a number of things. I pray, I focus on the day, I write down um, some goals I have. Um, you know, I try to call someone in my network. So I, I write all the, all this stuff down, um, and these are a lot of things that my dad passed down um, to me, and. Um, and I think it just, you know, it, it, it prepares your day, and that's when the creativity comes in, I think, oh, man, I'm going to paint some, you know, Texas Longhorns or whatever that, that new idea might be. Random inspiration because you're not distracted, and so you're able to, to hear that, feel that, and run with that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times the best work, like you have this plan of this is what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And then you go down to sit at the easel and it's like, I am not in the mood for any of that. And here comes this random idea. And all of a sudden you start putting it together and you start throwing together composition. You start looking for 
you know, the right canvas, the right size, and, and that's the piece that comes together so beautifully and so fast, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah, and I think, I think painting as much as you can as an artist, uh, we, we tend to get stuck on little details mm -hmm. and then we miss, you know, the bigger picture. So if, if I can just keep, keep painting as, as much as possible, um, all that gets worked out. This is why I love Steve. <laughs> I needed way, this. You're grounding me tonight. I love it. Thank you. Hey, I'm getting messages about how to share on my Facebook. How do I do that? Like share this right now? Yeah, on ex Facebook? exactly. Exactly. You just go on to the gallery Facebook page and you can, you can just press the share button on this video and it'll go to your page. Cool. Oh. Okay. Well. And then Let for all the that. people watching too, if you uh, <laughs> tap on the video at the bottom, you'll see a little bell icon. If you click that bell icon, you'll get notifications about our uh, paint night episodes. Steve, oh. Steve and I were literally having a conversation on the way here <laughs> and we can barely hold a phone call together. And we're like, I'm like, don't worry about it. We got Mike and Roman, we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. That really happened. <laughs> yeah, it did. Did. And I still haven't figured out how to share my on my Facebook without leaving this whole thing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. It's all good. All right. Repost. But I did let them know to go to Philip Anthony's signature gallery. Very cool. Well, I'm trying to think, man. Um, there is something that I could use your help with if you're up for it. Well, you're asking me to sing at the show <laughs> and like, you know, what else? I think this is more up your alley. I, okay. you, I right. paint in black and white, but I've been dabbling into color. But I'm going to be, I, our audience knows it. They, they've heard me try to pronounce some of these names. I don't get them right. I don't know if you can help. What, like paint names? Yeah, paint names. Uh, we're going to throw a few up here. Uh, some of these I think I have. You just tell me if I'm saying it right or if I need to work on it. So there's a really deep, dark blue. Uh, we got it right here. Okay. Peru what is it called? Perusian blue. Are you joking? Is that right? <laughs> no, is that right? No. No. Oh, okay. What? It's it's not Peru. It looks like Perusian. Nope. It's Prussian. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. This is why you're okay. here. Wait, 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 wait. You think? <laughs> Prashant. 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 I was I was gonna make a joke and then like Russian, poor poor Russian blue. I was gonna, yeah, I'm Russian. I was gonna ask Roman. Yeah, that's what we do. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we do on this next one. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd have never even painted that color. It's a it's a nice red. It's a deep dark red. You know, because even have that. Yeah, that's a good one. You should look at it. I like it in my roses. No, I don't have. I have carmine. I, I haven't played with that yet. Because cadmium red is very orange. It's cadmium red light. And there's a cadmium red medium I'm starting to play with. I like. So pyro red? Pyro? Pyro. Pyro. He likes it? He likes it. It's approved. OK, there we go. Pyro red. Good. All right, okay. now it's gonna get a little more challenging. These are, um, I've stared at this one before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This, this, when I do the animals, like this is a really dark purple that uh, it, I treat it like black. That's how I use it. But uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do my best here. Dioxine purple. No. Diox, dioxazine? Dioxazine. Dioxazine. <laughs> dioxazine. Dioxazine. I think, I think, wasn't that what cures COVID? That purple. Wow. If that wasn't, yeah. I think this next one was. Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mother of all colors right here. <laughs> This is a, it's a beautiful, again, animal series, trying to get into just funky palettes I've never done. 
This is a, a really beautiful uh, pinkish magenta. I'm gonna do my best here. Do you know in black and white, it's just carbon black and titanium white. That's it. Like, we don't have this struggle. Uh, I'm gonna say it fast and maybe that'll make it work. Here we go. Quinacritum. <laughs> Quinacritum. Magenta. Quinacridone. Quinacridone. Wow, that's oh. a, almost like a, with a French accent. That was really good. Dude, am I winning? If this was a contest, you totally won. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Where's the scoreboard? <laughs> what? What? We're trying to be educational on this show, guys, and we want you to hear it from the masters. So that's why we checked with Mr. Stephen Corley. Well, you should have talked to some other people first. <laughs> All right, um, that's all I got, unless there's something that you're thinking for the show, man. We got, let's, let's recap. So Friday is gonna be dueling pianos. Saturday, I think we're gonna come up with some sort of paint duel down at the gallery. And we get two more days because it's a, it's a holiday weekend. We have Sunday and Monday that will be down at the gallery. Creative Juice Bar will always be open through those events. We might have some light catering through it all too. How many new works do you think? Uh-oh, what is that? Oh no, another color. Mike, how'd you do that? that? That's a really cool graphic. Well, blue's not. That's, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. Serfuin. I, you know what would be really funny is my spelling's probably wrong. Oh, <laughs> what is that one? Cerulean. Cerulean, wow. Is that kind of tealish? It's got like a teal. Cerulean. English? Oh, what? Is the color kind of teal? No, cerulean ah. is like a light sky blue type. Mm. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I have one of those. It's, it's a good color. I okay. like this really. All right. It's more like a, a cobalt. Maybe cobalt's a little darker. Anyways. Both on the yellow warm side, right? Yes. Got it. Awesome. All right, man. How many paintings <laughs> do you think we'll see? Do you, a lot of new works coming? So two, no, I'm just kidding. Um, we will um, get there early, people. Gonna, yeah, get there early. Um, I've been very busy, um, so it's going to be a, a plenty of work. Maybe not um, a ton of work. So, um, but we'll see. I've got I've got a number of pieces going. Um, probably 10 pieces that uh, are earmarked for the show. Well, and we're, you've loaded us already, so come down to the gallery and check out. We already have an amazing collection of your work. Um, and I think the coolest thing is there will be the opportunity for a few small pieces to be started there. So if you have like a small still life idea, a tasty beverage or uh, a favorite flower, that might be something that you can see your piece be started at the show. Oh! Ooh, that's a great idea. Favorite flowers. Ooh. Dude, I almost forgot. We've collaborated. Oh, yeah. We've got some of the collaborations here. Guys, I don't know if you've seen this. Oh, man. The, the best part, you might have seen me collaborate with a few artists now, but the first one and the first piece that I, I did a collaboration with was with Stephen Courtley right here. And this was the Basilica, where we both worked on this painting. And then it went to, I think, Healing Waters is the name of this piece. And that's a yep. large 3648. We've published all these pieces, and we actually still have the originals of Basilica and Healing Waters. Pure Joy, love that name. Thank you, Gene. That's my favorite. That's, that's my favorite, yeah. This was so cool. 
So I had done the, the, the sky and the moon and the foreground sand, and Steve came in with his palette and I was like, I'll show you how to do a pier. Bam, knocked it out. That, that original cool. Pure Joy, the original soil, and this was so much fun. This was at the Knights of Light show that we did, and we literally started this on our booze cruise and went back and forth 20 minutes at a time, and everyone got to see that there that night, and that sold literally right off the easel. That was such a fun night. That, yeah. seriously, I'm not opposed. You're here for four days. If you have a good idea in the meantime, I really enjoyed doing that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe we ask our audience like what they'd rather see. Do they want to see a paint off on Saturday night? Or do you guys want to see another piece be created together? I don't know. I don't know what you think, but. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to, to get, get some get some flowers that you know, are set up in the gallery, and then we both set up and we're painting on them through the weekend. Dueling. We haven't done that. Yeah. No. That might be the next. I like it. Very cool. All right. Well, brother, Roman, did we miss anything? Uh, we just got a couple comments. It's been kind of, I think everyone's been really intrigued by what they've been seeing. Cool. Yeah. What, are, what are some of the comments we got? So Tracy Dennis is asking, um, Stephen, are you going to bring your family this time? Well, I think Natalie's going to join us. Um, and the kids are off at summer camp. So um, hang on, let me get rid of that. And so while the kids are at summer camp, uh, Natalie and I will be uh, cruising up to St. Augustine. It's going to be fun. Love it. That's great. And then we have Jason Heidi Green, uh, who gave you a shout out. Uh, we also have Stephen the Cello Man also gave a shout out. And uh, yeah. Great. Stefan. Stefan. Yeah, Stefan. Stefan. I'm sorry, Stefan. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you, Steve, for being here. Super excited to see you, guys. Um, Start calling in and start doing your RSVPs. Reach out to your art consultant. Uh, again, dueling piano night is going to be the first night. We're going to have two pianos, two grand pianos in our second location. They're going to be playing. Uh, we'll have a lot of the new works here, so you'll be the first to see them there. And we're just going to have a good time that night. Then you've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a paint off on Saturday, and that's probably going to continue over the next few days. Love and it. that piece will be here. Yes. About halfway done right now. Awesome. Well, thanks. Thank you again, Stephen. Yes. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, good to see you. See you guys. And we will see you guys on the next Paint Night tonight, coming up Monday or Thursday. Those are two big nights. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>